If a man is using you, he will say these 12 things. Have you ever felt like you were being used by a man? It's a common experience and it can be a heartbreaking realization. But the good news is there are certain things that a man will say if he is only using you for his own gain. Today, we will be going through the top 12 phrases that should raise a red flag and help you determine if you are being used in your relationship. So let's get started. I'm Brody Boyd with Magnetize Your Man, and as a professional love coach for over 13 years, here's what I've seen. The first thing a man will say if he is using you is, if you loved me, you would, dot, dot, dot. If a man is using you, he will try to manipulate you into doing what he wants by claiming that you don't love him enough and that you need to prove your love by doing something. He may also try to guilt you into doing something by implying that you owe him something or that you're not appreciating his efforts. Psychologically, this behavior is a form of emotional manipulation as it uses guilt and fear tactics to make you feel obligated to meet the person's demands. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, if you loved me, you'd let me do this. Number two, if you love me, you'd do what I am asking you. Number three, if you love me, you'd give me another chance. The second thing a man will say if he is using you is no one else would put up with you like I do. Now, this statement implies that the user has the power to make the other person feel special and that without them, no one else would accept or understand them. It's a way of putting the other person in a vulnerable position where you feel obligated to stay in the relationship. Psychologically, this statement is a manipulative one because it plays on the person's insecurities, making them feel like they need the user. It also implies that the user is the only one who can truly understand them. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, no one else will give you the same kind of attention I do. Number two, you can't expect the same level of understanding from anyone else. Or number three, you won't find anyone else who will put up with your flaws like I do. The third thing a man will say if he is using you is, I can't help it, it's just who I am. Now this phrase is a way of shrinking responsibility for his actions and deflecting any criticism. When a person uses this line, they are attempting to manipulate you into believing that their behavior is beyond their control and that you should accept it. Now, psychologically, this phrase allows him to pl place blame on an external source and justify his behavior. It also has the potential to make you feel guilty for wanting more from him. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, I can't stop looking at other people. It's just my nature. Number two, I can't help it that I'm always late. It's just who I am. Or number three, I can't help being jealous. It's just in my nature. The fourth thing a man will say if he is using you is you're too sensitive. This phrase is an indirect way of controlling someone. It implies that the other person's feelings and reactions are invalid and that they should adjust to the manipulator's behavior. This tactic is often used to make the other person feel guilty or ashamed for having their own emotions, thoughts, or opinions. Psychologically, this phrase is meant to invalidate the other person's feelings and to make them think that they are overreacting to a situation. By questioning their emotional response, the manipulator is attempting to make them feel that their feelings are wrong and that the manipulator is in control. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, why are you getting so upset about this? Number two, you're making too much of a fuss over this. Or number three, you shouldn't be so emotional. The fifth thing a man will say if he is using you is, I'm the only one who truly cares about you. This phrase is an attempt to make you feel dependent on the person, creating a false sense of loyalty that keeps you stuck in the relationship. They may also try to manipulate you into believing that no one else would ever care about you as much as they do. Psychologically, this phrase is used to make you feel isolated and emotionally dependent on the person. It is a way of invalidating your sense of self-worth and making you feel like you have no other option but to stay in the relationship. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, I'm the only one who really understands you. Number two, I'm the only one who truly loves you. Or number three, no one else would ever care about you like I do. The sixth thing a man will say if he is using you is, you make me act this way. This phrase suggests that the man's bad behavior is due to something you did or said, making you responsible for his actions. He wants you to believe that you are the cause of the negative behavior so that you will stay and try to fix it. Psychologically, this phrase allows him to avoid taking responsibility for his own words and actions. He can shift blame onto you and make you feel guilty for something that is not your fault. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, you make me so angry. Number two, you're the reason I'm drinking too much. Or number three, I'm only like this because of you. The seventh thing a man will say if he is using you is, you'll regret it if you leave me. This statement is a manipulative tactic to keep someone in a situation because the person using it is scared of being alone or losing the connection. It implies the partner will feel remorse if they are not with the person and if 
It is a way to pressure someone into staying in the relationship. Now, psychologically, this statement is a way to place fear or guilt onto the other partner. It can be a sign of insecurity from the person saying it, and it is an attempt to control the other person's behavior. Now, three other examples of what this could look like are number one, you'll be sorry if you don't stay with me. Number two, you'll regret it when I'm gone. Or number three, don't do something you'll regret later. The eighth thing a man will say if he is using you is, you're making a big deal out of nothing. This phrase is used to diminish your feelings and make you feel like you're overreacting. It enables the user to avoid taking responsibility for their actions and shift the blame onto you. Psychologically, this statement is used to establish a power dynamic and make you feel like your feelings don't matter. It also implies that you're being irrational and illogical. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, it's not that bad, don't worry about it. Number two, you're just being dramatic. Or number three, you're overreacting. The ninth thing a man will say if he is using you is, I've done so much for you and this is how you repay me? This statement is designed to make you feel guilty for not showing enough appreciation for all the person has done for you. It is a way to manipulate you into doing what they want. Psychologically, this statement works by placing the blame on the other person and making them feel like they owe you something in return for the person's efforts. Now, this can create a cycle of guilt and obligation that can be difficult to escape. Now, three other examples of what this could look like are number one, I spent all this money on you and this is the thanks I get. Number two, I made a huge effort to please you and this is how you show your appreciation. Or number three, I put in so much work for you and this is how you repay me. The tenth thing a man will say if he is using you is I don't need to explain myself to you. This phrase is a way of avoiding accountability and responsibility. It is used to imply that he is not required to justify his actions and that you should not expect any explanation. It is a way to shift the focus away from him and onto you. Psychologically, this phrase is a way of exercising power and control over you. It implies that he holds all the power in the relationship and that he does not have to answer to you. Uh, three other examples of what this could look like are number one, I don't have to tell you why I'm late. Number two, I'm not going to explain why I said that. Or number three, you shouldn't need to know why I did that. The 11th thing a man will say if he is using you is, I've seen others do way worse. This statement is an attempt to minimize the wrongdoings of the man and shift the blame onto someone else. He wants to make it seem like his own actions are not as bad as they seem. By implying that other people have done worse, he is trying to make his own actions seem more acceptable in comparison. Psychologically, this statement is an attempt to make you feel small and insignificant. He is implying that your feelings and reactions to his behavior are overblown and that your perspective is skewed. Three other examples of what this could look like are, number one, you're overreacting. Other people have it worse. Number two, I'm not the only one who has said this. Many people do. Or number three, what I did isn't that bad. I've seen other guys do worse. The twelfth thing a man will say if he is using you is you're imagining things. This phrase implies that you are overreacting to a situation and that your feelings are not valid. It is a way to invalidate your perspective and attempt to control the conversation. This phrase is often used by people who want to manipulate you or control you as it allows them to dismiss your concerns without addressing them directly. Psychologically, it is an attempt to gaslight you and make you doubt your own thoughts and feelings. It's a means of avoiding accountability and responsibility and shifting the blame onto you. Three other examples of what this could look like are number one, you're just overreacting. Number two, that didn't happen the way you remember it. Or number three, you're seeing things that aren't there. In the game of love, it's important to be aware of red flags and manipulation tactics. If you find yourself in a situation where a man is using you, don't be afraid to speak up and set boundaries. You deserve to be treated with love and respect and anyone who tries to use you does not deserve to be in a place in your life. Next, if you'd like to discover a powerful psychological trigger to make any man desire you, then take our free love quiz at getlovequiz.com or subscribe and click on the link in the description below to get that now and I'll see you there.